The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time for our tale of the tape. She always brings bad intentions. Jessica McCaskill, she tipped the scales at 145 pounds even. She's 5 foot 6 inches tall with a reach of 68.9 inches. And standing across from her, the undisputed champ, it's Katie Taylor. She's 165 centimeters tall with a reach of 168. She is the Caskilla, Jessica McCaskill. Quite simply, one of the best fighters in the world today. Katie Taylor, one of the best to ever do it, fighting out of Ireland. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Chicago, Illinois, here is a women's two-weight division world champion and an undisputed women's welterweight champion of the world, Jessica McCaskill. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, from Bray, Ireland, she became the eighth boxer in history to hold all four world titles, a two-division world champion, and an undisputed women's lightweight champion of the world, Simply the best, Katie Taylor. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. The wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. And there's the bell to start the round. That one lands. They are giving us a high tempo show. Nice counter. Both of these women have been undisputed world champions. They met before in 2017, but this time might be different. Remember, the last time they fought, they fought tooth and nail for 10 solid rounds, 2017. Now time's all down, time's all forward. What has changed? Have they got more crafty? Have they got fitter? They understood what they were lacking in. They understood what they were benefiting from. Now, the benefit is if you fought someone once and they beat you once, you won't let them beat you a second time. That's an Ali line. You've got to get in your head. Will Matasca let that happen? Can she let that happen? Now Telly has a number. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. We rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is here. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. What a massive upset this would be. And they're down just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Everything looks better in slow motion. Let's take another look. A shot from the gods took her out. McCaskill in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, Johnny, give her some advice here. We know what she's got to do. It's desperation time after being dropped in that last round. 
What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Swing and a miss with the jab. What a punch. She scores. What a massive upset this would be. Knocked down hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. Imagine seeing this punch coming and not being able to do anything about it. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? They got knocked down, but didn't stay down. Once again, showing you how much grit and courage this fighter has. The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. The corner's got... Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. I need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. That's lights out right there. There's a counter shot. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about McCaskill in that last round. One round, two knockdowns, each by a different fighter. Some... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Keep in mind, both of these fighters got knocked down in the prior round. Two knockdowns in the same round to both fighters. How is this going to work? But you know what? The one that was knocked down earlier, he's the one that's got more time to recover. But it's still hard. It still plays on your brain to see what's happened. They've got to think like a golfer. Forget after 10 seconds. They've got to be smart. Looks like a little change of strategy here. Trying to loose. Whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the foundation, rocked. And they're down. It looks like this one's going to be over. How about that technique on that headshot? Let's see it again and appreciate it more. I need to see that again. A knockout win. Congratulations. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night.